Now we want to invite Marilia Kelly, the executive director of Tri Valley Cares, and no stranger to most of us in this space. She brings 34 years of research, writing, and facilitating public participation in decisions regarding the Livermore Lab and the U.S. nuclear weapons complex. Marilia has testified before Congress, the California Legislature, and the National Academy of Sciences, among other deliberative bodies. She participated in the 2017 negotiations at the UN on the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. She has lived here in Livermore since 1976. Marilia? Woo! coming. I'm, it makes me happy. I'm glad to see you all, although this is a very solemn occasion. So, here we are at one of two locations that has designed every nuclear weapon in the United States arsenal. They're all designed either here at Livermore or Los Alamos in New Mexico. I'm going to speak a few words about this place about Livermore Lab, that's my job here this morning, and to talk about the nuclear weapons that are being designed today for use tomorrow. As I speak of these future weapons, I ask you now to think about 8.15 a.m. local time, almost here, and the first atomic bomb used in war was dropped by the United States on the people of Hiroshima. And it is falling, it is falling, it is falling. The people don't know yet, it is falling. As we are present with that, I bring you back to the, to the now, to the today. I wanna say just a couple of words about the Trump administration's nuclear posture review released earlier this year. Our analysis is titled, Trump's New Warheads and the Willingness to Use Them. The Trump Nuclear Posture Review expanded the circumstances under which the United States may respond with a nuclear weapon, including to non nuclear scenarios such as cyber attack. Think about how much more dangerous that makes the world today. It also contains new concepts that go beyond the concepts that we protested that the Obama administration was moving forward, including a new low yield submarine launched nuclear warhead and other new concepts. Because of this, you may remember that I talked to you about the $1 trillion new nuclear weapons program, the $1 trillion to upgrade all U.S. nuclear warheads and bombs and the bomb plants and laboratories that design and produce them. It is now, my friends, and try to think about this number, nearly $2 trillion over the next 30 years when a modest rate of inflation and the new concepts in the, in the Trump Nuclear Posture Review are included. It is important that we are here on this day to tell you a little bit about Livermore Lab. Every year, Tri-Valley Cares makes a pie chart out of Livermore Lab's budget request. So this is the budget request for the coming fiscal year. This is the money they want, the money they're asking for. I want you to guess in your mind, how much money do you think is for nuclear weapons activities? That's a budget line, that's its name, nuclear weapons activities. And how much do you think is for science? Yeah. Okay, got that number in your mind? 
here's the real number. 88.6% for nuclear weapons activities. Science that's not nuclear weapons, 2%. 2%. Think about 2%. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, Father Louis. The percentage, he wants me to give the percentages again. Nuclear weapons activities, 88.6%, nearly 89% of what goes on here is funded as a nuclear weapons activity. 2% is science that isn't related to nuclear weapons. Very quickly, because we have a full program, I just want to highlight two things that Livermore Lab is doing with this money today as we stand here, right on the other side of this fence. Livermore Lab is the lead lab for designing a new warhead called the W80-4 for a new long-range standoff nuclear weapon. This will be air launched. Think about what long range standoff means. It means the pilot will stand off the target thousands of miles and release a stealthy radar evading sneak nuclear attack on an unsuspecting population. This is by definition a first use nuclear weapon. Think about what that means on this anniversary and why it is important that you are here today. Livermore Lab also has money in the fiscal 19 budget for the interoperable war HUD. You may recall as a victory, we got the Obama administration to delay it five years until at least 2020. But no, in the Trump administration, there's money in the current budget request. Livermore Lab is the lead lab. An interoperable warhead will be wholly new. That's why it's called the Interoperable Warhead 1. And it will mash up components from at least three other nuclear weapons and add novel design elements. I'm done? OK. And it may. Nuclear weapons designers tell us it may lead us back to nuclear explosive testing in Nevada to certify it. I am told that I am out of time, so I'm going to complete one thought. This money also means related programs at Livermore Lab. Right now, they're planning to get a permit to conduct high explosive tests at site 300, right between here and Tracy. Instead of a, 100 pounds a day, which is what they can do now, this would be 1,000 pounds a day, 10 times greater, up to 7,500 pounds a year. There will be, according to Livermore Lab, 121 hazardous contaminants in each blast lofted into the open air to drift on the wind. Tri-Valley Cares has a comment letter for you to sign and send, or just sign and leave it with us and we'll send to the Air District opposing a permit that would allow these blasts. Again, my friends, thank you for being here with the power of your presence. Together, we'll move to the abolition of nuclear weapons. Thank you very much. Thank you.